that would be um, much appreciated. Jane Hunt, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Mr Reid, for coming along today. Uh, I want to talk about uh, the vision and the net for the network short and long term, but also about markets. So a couple of questions, first of all. Uh, I have a, 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 an example um, in my constituency, in barrow upon saw where unfortunately the post office um, closed down, again, perhaps about uh, a year or so ago. Um, I have had significant help from the post office in trying to reopen it, and indeed I've written to every every shop in the village asking if they would take on a post office. But still, um, we haven't been able to find anywhere. Yet you have a market there. What else could we do to, to help get you a market in places like barrow upon saw where you do have the ability to take on more, if only somebody would take on the business? It's a good question. I think, uh, are we doing a good enough job advertising what it is that the post office does? I suspect we could do a better job. I, I'm very, very clear from a sort of long-term vision perspective that uh, the postal, uh, the, well, the mails and parcels market has huge, huge opportunity for us as, a, uh, as an organisation, that the banking and cash and banking market does too. Uh, we have an amazing travel business. We obviously provide great bill payment services. So we think we've got four very, very core parts of this, organ of, of, of this uh, commercial organisation uh, that is going to develop and to grow. So if I think particularly about um, the parcels business, you've obviously heard from Mr. Thompson today uh, and from others, we are looking to expand and become the first mile and the last mile for, um, for parcels in particular. Uh, we want to be an aggregator where we go out and use Amazon, every DHL, DPD, as well as Royal Mail Group, and, and make sure that we maintain that role as a community hub. And uh, we think that's very viable, and we think that's a very, very um, uh, realistic uh, proposal and proposition for us. And with cash and banking, it's exactly the same. We see ourselves as providing the cash infrastructure for the country, and we want to play that role as we will see an acceleration in bank branches are going to close, uh, and we want to make sure that we're there for the vulnerable, for the isolated, and for those in the, in the cash-only society who still are very, very important, particularly in more rural uh, communities, which is something that we have observed. So um, we think from a proposition perspective, uh, we've got a great proposition. Now, I, I'm not familiar, obviously, with your, particular, uh, with your particular site, and obviously we will look at that and try and understand how we can better sell what the post office does um, and the role it plays. And I think this is the interesting part. <coughs> yes, we are a commercial network. Yes, we are a commercial business. But I think certainly from a, uh, from a governmental perspective, it's recognising the social role that we play, um, particularly uh, it's the role that we played during the pandemic and at the role we're playing at the moment, whether that's with uh, energy relief schemes, whether that's with um, council tax rebates, whether that's what we're doing in Northern Ireland that started yesterday in terms of making sure we get to the 75% of, uh, of the nation in Northern Ireland who actually prepay their energy bills, getting cash to them. That's not something any other infrastructure could possibly provide. Uh, and I think it's really incumbent upon this committee and upon, and upon the government itself to recognise that we have a really, really crucial social role to play, as well as making it commercially viable. And I think that's something that we will, um, we will be striving to do. Indeed, I couldn't agree with you more about the, uh, the social aspect of it. Um, and indeed, the tricky bit is, if you don't have an outlet there, there is a market there, but you can't get to it. So it's an interesting thing. Um, whilst I was the Minister for Small Business, I visited Belper yes. and saw your co-op site. Yes. Um, so you had a post office within a co-op that then became a banking hub. And I, I think that could be a good way forward. You've referred to some of the services there. What else is the post office looking to do to create itself into a universal hub, if you like, for all sorts of services that could then uh, create a vision and a more developed network, uh, perhaps even more than 11,671 uh, outlets uh, across the country in the short and the long term? Yeah, I think, I think the short term, we are focused um, very, very extensively on our mails and parcels business. That, that is um, just under 50% of our total revenue and turnover, some 330 million, somewhere in that sort of reign. And so it's so important that um, we have a very, very robust relationship with, uh, with the Royal Mail Group, but more importantly, that we explore opportunities to do more. We have a non-exclusive relationship with Royal Mail now. Uh, and as I say, we've brokered deals with Amazon, with every with DPD, DHL. Uh, we will sell. We are selling uh, in 50 post offices every product for the first time. So we're actually selling for the first time in our history non-Royal Royal Mail, uh, mail and parcels products. I think that the getting that piece right, the first mile and the last mile uh, for, 
for customers in the parcels market is hugely important. But you know, let's be very clear, the industrial action uh, that has, is going on at the moment is threatening that business. And uh, we had a very, uh, a very difficult Christmas, and Postmasters had a very difficult Christmas as a consequence of the, uh, the strike action. It reduced our, our trade by 26%, um, and that is something that Postmasters will be deeply concerned about. So we have a vested interest in making sure that the Royal Mail uh, and the CWU settle there dispute and that we can get on and build our business both with the Royal Mail and with uh, the other carriers as we see our, our role. So I think from a vision point of view, that's where we're spending our time. From a cash and banking point of view, um, as, as I say, we want to offer those banking services. It's really important that we do that. We think it's a, a huge role to play. But we are also a, 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 what we call a platform um, market. The postmasters themselves have done an enormously good job, particularly through the pandemic and beyond, yeah, of building a great brand. And that brand we can use online, and we are using it online. So our financial services business online has been hugely successful this year. Uh, and we see that as the ability to sort of trade off a diversified business. So you have a diversified business that is generating profitability online, uh, and we have a postmaster population that is struggling uh, as a consequence of the, the of the strike and the strike action. And we're obviously looking for ways to make sure that we can use the brand that we built uh, physically uh, with what we're gaining online to make sure that uh, we can measure and balance for our postmasters. And that's something we're trying to do at the moment so that you know profitability is more broadly shared.